What is going on everybody? David here and today you know I got a brand new video for y'all and this time we are going to be another be another <laughs> we are going to be doing another round of four random action figure reviews and you know the drill too vintage and too modern yep that's how we're going to be doing it uh, so Let's go ahead and show the contestants this time around. So first up, we're going to be uh, taking a look at, uh, let's see what we got here. I got a stack full of stuff, so I just figured I'd just grab a few at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two vintage, and we're going to do a two-pack for the modern. So, yep. That's two vintage and two moderns. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first uh, vintage we're going to look at is by one of my favorite companies and um, Trend Masters. So we're going to continue the Trend Masters theme until we run out. And uh, we got another lost in space figure. So, I did pick this up at a uh, movie trading company a while back, and uh, I do want to collect all of these. Um, so, we're going to take a look at the cryo suit Dr. Judy Robinson. And, um, yeah, like I said, I do want to collect all of them. Um, I don't really care for these two at the bottom. I mean, if I get them, I get them, but they're not a high priority for me when it comes to this line. Um, as you already know, I already should be checked out the uh, Battle Ravaged Robot. Um, I do want the others, and I do need other human characters. So, uh, I do have this, uh, Don uh, West, Major Don West. I just don't have none of his accessories, so I do would like to track those accessories down for him. So, whenever I'm able to pick up the rest of them, we'll take a look at them as well. So, without further ado... Um, we'll go ahead and crack this, uh, girl out and we'll take a look at the, uh, card back and, and so forth. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we got Judy out of her packaging and well, not completely out, but here is the, uh, card back. Um, I will be saving this like I do with all my others. So, Yeah. And just basically, here's the robot right here. You got the Trend Masters logo right there. And it says Danger Will Robinson. And, uh, you know, it's not... kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, it's just... Uh, I can't even think of the, the toy line. It was the old 80s toy line. It was just kind of like just one figure right there. And then that's just the card back. And that was the advertisement. I can't remember what it was. Um... You know, probably somebody's going to say, well, most of them are like that. <laughs> but there is a particular line that had the card back similar to this back then. just can't remember what it was. But anyways, you know, it's uh, kind of plain, but still doable. I like it, you know. And we've already discussed this, uh, uh, the items in the back. So, let's set that aside. And here is Judy, still in her clamshell. Just got the Lost in Space logo right there. Cryo suit Dr. Judy Robinson with Magnet Attack Bike Strike Spider. So, set that stuff aside. And let's go ahead and adjust our camera. So where we can get a closer look at it. So these things, this is my first time really holding these things. Um, I never had these uh, as a kid, but I do love the movie. So these are fairly large. I didn't realize how big these were. I, I just always thought they was like like mini size, like <laughs> smaller. And that's my phone going off. Excuse me. Um, I forgot this little guy's name. So, 
If you know who he is, sound off in the comments below. And the CGI for that guy was horrible. And this is her uh, gadget. And here is Judy. <clears throat> It's, it's funny how this uh, figure is posed because a lot of the uh, women figures of the 90s, whether it be Playmates or WWE or whomever, they, they're always in a similar pose. <laughs> so this is like the standard pose for women back then if they had figures. But very cool. I really like that a lot. So, let's take a closer look at that, and uh, very detailed face sculpts. Like I said, when it comes to Trend Masters, their, their uh, figures may not always be the aesthetically uh, pleasing, but their the details, is just, they, they put a lot of details on all their figures, and that's why I give them props for it, because... The detail is like amazing, you know. <clears throat> the hair looks good. Nice uh, texturing of the hair. The face sculpt looks uh, looks good. I mean, may not be the most prettiest thing in the world, but you know, for the detail that it has for this particular figure from the company that made by it, it's very good, you know. <clears throat> The details of the cryo suit is uh is really nice too as well. Got that little rust to it. So really really good. Can you stand? And this critter. Like I said, I forgot its name. But um uh, very happy to have him though. Detail him is very good as well. Very nice. And you know the good thing is he's not just a, a, a plain yellow uh, plastic, you know, with no details like like some of the uh, turtle Ninja Turtle six a six a sexery. <laughs> the, the old vintage turtles uh, uh, accessories. <clears throat> Um, they would just be like their little sidekicks. They would just be like one colored plastic with no details. But this one, you know, as small as it this is, you know, it actually has some uh, paint to it. Unlike some of those uh, vintage turtles uh, sidekick accessories, you know, very nice. <laughs> and here is her gadget. I don't know what this is. Does it even say what it is? I don't think so. No. I'm trying to see. No, it just says Cryo Suit Dr. Judy Robinson. It just says uh, these action figures come with magnetic attack spiders and heavy battle gear. So. I guess that's what she carries. But anyways, here is um, the large magnet spider magnet. It's very nice detail too. <laughs> really like this thing a lot. You could really army build these things. Trying to figure out what this does. Oh, that's his action feature right there. Oh, well, that's cool. I didn't know I did that. This is what I'm talking about. They they spend a lot of good time with the uh, good time. They, they spend a lot of time with its details and stuff. You know, I know you can't really see that, but if you hold this in your hand and you did this action feature. You know, you could tell that it did. They did some detail, and they got paint on the inside of it as well. So that makes it 
really cool. Let me see if I can brighten this thing up a little bit. I don't know if that worked or not. Let me try it again. But anyways. <clears throat> Great looking stuff. I know I'm spending a lot of time on her. <laughs> I don't know if... What this is supposed to do... I don't know if that's how she's supposed to hold it. I don't think so. Is it? Is that how she's supposed to hold it? Yeah, I think so. I'm just looking at the back of the uh, card back and... So yeah, I guess that's how she's supposed to hold it. Hopefully she can stand better on my display shelf than she does on this piece of cardboard. <laughs> so, anywho's. So yeah, there we have it. There's Judy Robinson in a cryo suit. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at that. There you go. So overall, I really do like this figure. Yeah, I just can't wait to uh, get the rest of them. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Well, before we go on to the next one, I just remembered that I did have some instructions. So we'll take a look at this real quick. So it kind of further explains uh, what this stuff does. So... Here's a little outline right there. It should be right in the middle of her chest. And it just says, place any lost in space magnet attack spider on figure's chest. Uh, place blop onto Judy's right arm. I guess that's how you pronounce, uh, pronounce that critter's name. And then for the accessories that I was kind of confused about. <clears throat> It's that uh, the unit snaps onto Judy's arm, plug end of the wire into a hole on the upper leg, and then it shows you how to do the uh, pinchers to open the, uh, the mouth. All right, well, let's see. Ah, so that's how you. Put that okay. You can place uh, any lost in space magnet tank spot on the figure's chest. So, um, let's go ahead and take this out real quick. So you can. I don't know if this thing still works or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's... Well, yeah, it does work. I can feel it. I can feel the magnetic pool. I can feel the magnetic pool. There we go, see? So it does work. Probably not as good as it probably did back then, but yeah, it still works. <clears throat> Very cool. And you can have her hold this creature if you want her to. So just place her in her right arm, so that is her right arm. <laughs> Ear all up in her eye and shit. Alright. Let's tr make another second go around of this. Yeah. And then I think they said just place this peg in her leg. Right there. There we go. That's how we're supposed to use it. <clears throat> there we go. 
Well, there you have it. Judy Robinson. All geared up. Alright, now we can go on to the next one. Alright, next vintage figure we'll be taking a look at is uh, by McFarland Toys. And, um... Boom! I put that down so hard that it just shook this whole backdrop. <laughs> uh. <There we> go. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, this is uh, Rotar, and I think this is like a, uh, an amphibious creature, a salamander looking thing. I got this at uh, um, Nitro Madness in Bedford. And uh, for five bucks, you know. And very interesting character. All the accessories and everything. So here is the back of it. And here is his uh, bio card. So if you want to pause and read that, you may. So there's a fire card by Spire. I can't even talk today. Hell, I can't even talk most days. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I'm looking to try to collect all of them if I can. If not, it is what it is. But you got to love these figures back in the day. Even though they might not have all the uh, greatest articulation, but they're good for what they were back then. And this is going to be on display, so... I've learned over time, you know... Since I'm not a big photographer... Photographer or photographer or whatever... <laughs> I, uh... The, my, all my figures are just for display purposes only, so... I really don't really try to... Worry about articulation and stuff like that, because, you know... If I was into that kind of stuff, I would be... More... Articulate about it but hey these these are fine you know so but anyways let's go ahead and take a closer look and here is the instructions and let's go ahead and break this guy out of his packaging okay so we got Rotor I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name so here he is with all of his accessories so Oh, that fell out. <laughs> well, we got to... <sighs> so here he is with all his stuff up right there. Put that aside. So, uh, trying to get him loose a little bit. And uh, all that cracking right there. Still nice and rubbery, you know. It's good. And this part of his arsenal. Got this thing right there. And the rest of the stuff is taped. His propeller. I guess these are his uh I have no idea what these are. <laughs> I have no clue. Normally I would be doing this uh, off camera, but oh well. I forgot to hit the pause to do that. My apologies if that was annoying to you guys. Sorry, but not sorry. Okay, so we got his propeller, we got this little thingamajig, and all this other stuff that comes with him. And, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure first before we get into all the other stuff. So. Only a face of mother can love. <laughs> uh, let's see. So this is like the only articulation he's got right there, and it's... Elbow, you know, goes up and down. Got the single rotation, the elbow. And, oh, got this one. Same thing, 
is elbow four, whatever you want to call it. And we've already moved this around a little bit. So, looks pretty mean. Then we have this part. That then his uh his tail is rubbery feel. You can tell you can tell that's rubbery plastic right there. So we got this bendy wire right there. So yeah. Got the bendy wire tail. Nice, nice, and still is good intact. Because a lot of times a lot of these wires like this, you know, they poke out. So you can tell it's just poked out right there. So I'm not gonna mess with that. <clears throat> So, and so, but for overall, you know, great looking figure. Okay, let's see what his stuff does. All right, here are the instructions. Propellers snap onto backpack post and armbands also snap on. And then it provides a pivots back and forth with blade spin. And oh, that's his gun. This is his gun. Oh, wow. Gun and communication device fits in articulated right hand fingers. Hmm. Okay, so here's his gun right here. Pretty nice little detailed gun. See, wow, this this is this is pretty cool. Looks like an air vent, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure with this kind of rep weaponry that looks like this, kill you or hurt you pretty bad. <laughs> and so here's his propeller. So that's going to snap on right on top of this thing right there. And these are his armbands. So which armband goes where? That's what I want to know. So. Does it tell you or show you? Guessing this device goes like here. I'm trying to see. It's like a soft. I'm afraid these things are going to break off, to be honest with you. Look how warped that looks. No, I'm not going to try that. Unless if I can, like, kind of... Is that how it's supposed to go? I guess that's how it's supposed to go right there, huh? I have no clue. I'm guessing that's how I'm doing it right. But see, the good thing is about this, you know, it's kind of soft pliable right there. Where the wrist are, or not where the wrist are, but where the parts that snap on. Because normally, over time, certain things like this, they would harden and just break off easily. I'm guessing that's how he's supposed to do it. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, the propeller. Looks uneven, but I don't know. <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Got me a good spin. It's spinning. It's spinning. They spinning. <laughs> All right. Let's see if he can hold his little walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. And here's his PFG. Can he even hold this thing? Can he even hold this thing? Look at his. Uh... That's how, is that how it's supposed to look? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I didn't even realize that. I was like, how the heck he hold this thing? No, no, no. I think. Huh? Heck, I don't know. Mm, okay. I was like, fuck. I'm not supposed to hold this shit. Get his, hold his little one. Rinky dinky thing. Oh, see, I didn't even know he had articulated hands until just now. I was like, what the hell? Now, the question is, how long can he hold this thing? Because I already know that over time, these hands or fingers, they're going to get loose, you know, I guess depending on how much you, you mess with it. But it's, they're nice and tight for the most part <clears throat> uh, for now. So, all right, that's cool. I was just, uh, hell yeah. That's what's up. I'm guessing it's how you're supposed to put his shit on. Yeah, hell, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just messing with them. Anyways, but yeah, that's a uh, Rotor Ratter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know his name. But it's a cool looking fig. You know, I like this thing. This thing's awesome. Plus, he's amphibious. You know, we you know me. Loving dinosaurs and creatures, amphibious things like this. This thing looks amazing, aesthetically pleasing to me. Look at all the detail right there. That's that's epic right there. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the final set of figs that we'll look at. All right, so the two pack that we're going to be looking at today is the. Another Batman versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Batgirl and Donatello action figure two pack. Only at GameStop. This is um produced by DC Collectibles, who are no longer in business. And um, yeah, <clears throat> I still haven't checked out the film yet, so I do need to need to watch it. But um, just like the Raphael Robin two pack. Uh, they come with a lot of accessories. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like I mentioned, we've already taken a look at that. And so then the next one that we'll look at after this, we'll take a look at that. I still need to get the Batman Leonardo Action Figure 2-pack and the Rajal Al Ghul and Shredder 2-pack. Um, I mainly want this more than I do this. If I get this, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I have to have this one. I've got to have this one. So, you know, so I complete the four turtles. And um, so if I get this one, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But like I said, i, I got to have this one so I can complete the set right here. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take these guys out. Guy and girl out. Or turtle and girl out. All right. So... Took them out of the packaging, and it looks like it's a tree right there. Looks like 
comes with the alternate head, the turtle palm. I like that. That's cool. The TCRI thing, pizza, multiple hands, and his bow staff. And a lot of stuff as well. Pretty much the same thing that Robin came with. You know, the only thing that's different is she comes with the uh, dart stuff for a gun. And these are falling out. Little syringe, hooks, cell phone, pizza, and multiple hands. All right, let's go ahead and check these guys out. All right, so right off the bat, I was able to get, you know, those figures can be hard to get out of the little clamshell thing. So you got to be careful. So I was able to get Donnie out. But as I was trying to get Batgirl out, I popped her leg off. Now, at first it looked like, you know, it could be broken. But I don't think it is. That's not... I think that's just how the molding, I think that's just the way the molding is. And hopefully you can just, just snap this leg back on. It's like that. So, yeah, I was just trying to get her legs out and I just went, boop. And, um, yep, that's how it went. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, yeah, I got the accessories all over the place. I just dumped them all over the table. So, just give me a second so I can go ahead and get this situated. Alright, so, got them set up. <clears throat> I messed with around with them a little bit. Uh, Donnie is, is pretty cool. You know, it's lanky. So, very nice detail, just like Raph was, or is. And, um, yeah, just Basically, you can go side to side, but you can't really look up and down. And so then the arms move around, got a ball hinge on the arm, single elbow, wrist rotation. And then got the ball right there. Right, the pegs. It just pegs in, that's where the peg is. Ball, ball and hinge right there for the hands. And like I said, single, single elbow. Up and down, forwards, backwards, double knee. Yeah. Just like Raph, the the legs on here, the knees are really super stiff. So get that on the lean, courtesy of uh, Venom Fang. <laughs> so but yeah, good looking figure. I like it. Then, um, as for Batgirl, same thing. You can't really look because the hair hinders it. But I do, I do like this though. I like the detail and the aesthetics on, on, on her. You know, very cartoony the way it's supposed to look. So that, that's good. So then here's her face sculpt right there. That looks good, you know. And, uh, yeah, nice detail in the uniform. Really like that a lot. Kind of reminds me of uh, the, the Batman animated series figures that uh, DC Collectibles did. You know, that same paint style, paint scheme. You know, so then double, double knee, up and down feet, so arms, single, single elbow. Again, ball hinge on the wrist. So, I like how they have the uh, bat symbols. It's like right there, right in the center where it should be. So, it's, um, sometimes some of these, you know, it could be off-centered. <clears throat> so, very cool. And as far as uh, accessories goes, uh, comes with a, Don comes with a alternate head. You know, baseball hat on. No, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know exactly what the meaning behind that is. Comes with his bow staff. Comes with two karate hands, chopping hands. Then comes two uh, gripping hands right there. 
And he comes with his, uh, I think this is a glow-in-the-dark mutagen canister. So, we'll have to check that out. Then, of course, you know, he's got his little pizza slice. And here's probably the coolest accessory of all. Here's the T-phone. So, I wasn't sure if this was going to be able to, to open up or not. So... Nice little details on that. Very cool. Really like that a lot. Turtle. Turtle calm. Now as far as Batgirls goes. <clears throat> of course you know she comes with her. Uh, gripping hands right here. I think one's. This one's a little bit more tighter looking. Feel to it. This one's a little bit more open than this one. And then this one's a little bit more wider, so it could probably hold her cell phone better. So here is her cell phone. Oops. Right there. Nice little detail there. So that's cool. Then of course you know she got a little slice of pizza and then her grappling gun right there comes with her two little two little hooks there. And then comes with her Batarang. Uh, yep. So I really like that a lot. But then here's her um, mutagen ooze darts. Yep. So cool. So yeah, that's the uh, um, <clears throat> Batgirl Donatello set. So you like this set a lot, you know. I'm glad I picked these up. You know, I was able to get these on sale GameStop when they were months ago, and it's like fifteen bucks a piece. So that's why I was able to pick them up. If not, I probably wouldn't have wouldn't have even thought twice about it. All right, so let's go ahead and line these figures up and 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 get our final thoughts on these things all right now we got these figures all lined up and looked at and uh let me know down in the comments below what your favorite ones are um i really do like the the retour figure the mcfarland uh spawn figure I really liked it a lot you know it's probably my favorite of the bunch you know and i do like the judy robinson i do want to like i mentioned i do want to finish out the rest of the human figures you know get them and finish that set out and you know uh the batman versus ninja turtle set those are really good too i really like those a lot they would look good on my turtle shelf display and though i don't have a whole lot to really display but you know what i do have i think would be a worthy display you know but like i said i do really need <laughs> i don't want i need that uh, leo batman two pack you know um, i want the shredder and Raj Al Ghul, but I don't need it like I do the the other set. Oh. But anyways, I um, hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I uh, enjoyed filming it. I know a lot of the stuff was, you know, just straight live. <laughs> but, you know, I do what I can with these, and I hope you all enjoyed these. And, um, where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and know what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I'll catch y'all later.